Savage Lord here. I'm recording on October 11th at a different subdivision than where I normally go. You see, in my neck of the woods, we had this hurricane over the weekend. And power was out in my place for about uh, 50, 60 hours. So, over in my subdivision, and the places where I normally go, what people are throwing out this week was a lot of food from their refrigerators that went bad. And heck, I did the same thing. I filled up a full trash can, actually. So, good thing I had those hurricane supplies that I showed you in the previous video. So I came over to this subdivision where I hoped that they had fared better. They seemed to get electricity sooner than we did. But I'm seeing more of the same. I'm seeing bags and bags of food that's been thrown out. And I'll show you. Even this box down here, which looks like it might have an old appliance in it, is more food from out of a failed refrigerator. So, I've been to the one subdivision where I was most certain that they had power through the most of the weekend, and yet, that didn't work out because the trash truck beat me there. So this entire week might be a bust. I'll record a little more after I've done some more investigation and let you know. Bye. This is a scavenge lord again, about 20 minutes later, and not a lot of progress, but I'm seeing a lot of this. There's a bunch of yard debris that people are putting out today, and some of it came from some trees that are fairly good size. And this is something that you can scavenge after a hurricane, which will work very well for you. If you're an artist who works with driftwood, or just a person who has a chimney in your house then this is a free firewood day and I don't have a chimney so I'm not going to be taking any of these logs home with me and I'll speak with you again in just a little bit. Scavenge Lord Hurricane update. Now here is something that I was not expecting to find but I probably should have anticipated it. Sandbags! After people no longer need them, I'm sure that some people are going to put them, pack them away in the shed or the garage for the next hurricane, but a lot of other people are simply going to throw them out. And here we have bags that I'm going to guess are about 50 pounds each, full of sand. Bags are still intact. These would be very, very good to have around the house for the next storm. Um, but I'm on my bicycle today, a bicycle right there. So I have no good way of getting these to my house before the trash truck arrives. Hmm, gonna have to let this one go. All right, final video update of the day. I ended up doing better than expected. I, I took home a couple of towels that I'll see if my friend Sally wants when she comes over, so I, and so that I wouldn't come home completely empty-handed. But I did give those uh, four matching green towels to the Goodwill on the way home. And I brought home this Chia head, which matches a Chia head I've already got. So hey, I got a pair. But then, in my home neighborhood, I did much better than expected. Got that ceramic flower pot right there, which is going to replace a plastic planter of mine. A, another bag of chips, individual servings, and these have a best buy date of August. It's currently October. That's pretty good for me, but folks, you don't have to throw these away when your refrigerator powers down, which I suspect is what happened. And a few other odds and ends. Some My Coke reward points. Uh, low battery. Sorry, the camera has a low battery. It just clunked out on me. 
So I was saying, my Coke Reward points, a couple of RAM sticks from an old computer, uh, 512 megabytes, not bad. Um, I actually got a lot of old computer parts. If I had a lot more time on my hands, I'd be building machines. Um, rechargeable nickel cadmium batteries. Now, when I find batteries, I save them, even if they're clearly no good, because those are not supposed to go into landfills. No battery ever is. And the alkalines, I can take them to the battery store, and they'll be disposed of properly. The nickel cadmiums, like these, that's all I found today, nickel cadmiums, they can be recycled. A uh, mechanical pencil with lead in it, and a ratio is still good. A couple of LED flashlights, they even have good batteries in them. Where's the switch? Now this was a find. This is an LED flashlight, and it's also a multi-tool. Ah! Never make these with various bits in it to connect right there. And I'm losing bits because I am my own cameraman. Never, ever, ever be your own cameraman when making these videos. Just don't do it. Uh, some size 13 men's work boots that are in pretty good shape. They got a spot here where the thread is starting to come loose. Some size 13 tennis shoes and dress shoes that are in really good shape. A box of miracle movers. It's still taped shut. Uh, and this has the entire set inside here that I believe. Still new. Box is kind of beaten up though. And this is my favorite find of the day. This is the one thing that I'm most definitely going to keep for myself. It is an oil drain pan which is better than the one that I have in my garage that I've been using since I was in high school. So I'm going to keep this one right here and I'm very pleased with it. I thank my neighbor for throwing that away senselessly. So even after a hurricane, when you have to dig through lots of, ex <laughs> lots of rotten food, it's been cast out in order to find things you can still find things it's been proven this is scavenge lord thank you for watching